What's up everybody? I hope everybody's having a beautiful, wonderful, blessed day today. It is another beautiful day, beautiful day here in Phoenix, Arizona. So we're going to go on another jewelry and making adventure invention. Yeah. So rock on. Hope you all enjoy. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. So here we go. We got our wire here. Got our tools. Got our beads. We're gonna go on a jewelry making adventure here. Just gonna get some wire. Got our wire here. Stretched out. Make you a cut. You got your wire. Roll this extra wire hanging off here back up. Hold it on there with your finger. Stick your plastic thing back on there. See, I had it held with my finger. You can adjust it around. Boom. Done with that. All right. So we got a wire here. All right. So we're going to get a crimp beads. Can't forget your crimp beads. Got to put the crimpers on. Put the crimpers on. Like so. And then you got to put your lobster claw on. Like so. Then you make your hoop. Get your crimp beads on your wire there when you make your hoop, like so. Then you want to stretch it up. Make that be about my hoop right there, like so. Like that. Crimp it down so you don't lose it. Then you slide your second one up there where you about where you want it. Crimp it down. You know how we do we crimp them, crimp, crimp, crimp. Crimp them down. I always check it. Oh, come on. All right, cool. Better all crimp down. Alright, there we go. We got to crimp down. Alright, so we'll set them over out of the way. We'll get our beads here. I'm going to put a couple of these metal ones on first. I think they're going to bring some popping style out. A little, little popping style. I think four is going to be too many, though. I might just do two. You know what might look good? Putting one of these on here. With one of these. And now take a look at it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. That looks nice. We got our feeds here we're going to put on there. Remember how these ends are? So you can always hold it. Do your little cut in here. Like so. I'm going to take the first one off. Try not to lose any other, so. We're going to put the first one on. Like so. Whoop. There we go. I don't know. And then I just leave the beads on the strand and come on. Slip my wire through like so. Sometimes you gotta slide them on, and then find out what's going on with this one. You have to slide on there. Just slide it through. That's why I leave them on. This don't take very long if you do it like this. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. What is everybody up to today? Get at me in the comments. You know, hit a brother up. Stick it in, stick it in. Just got a little bit more to go here. And this is a lot faster than beating them one at a time. Yeah, there we go. Got them on our wire with their clasp. And then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one of these. I'm gonna do it like that, yeah. And then I put one of these little bitty ones. Because oh. we're gonna put it on right here. We're gonna put this on right here. 
Like that, go get it. pretty. So, that's how the middle is going to look with the charm on there. I think that'll go good. All right, so since we got that part, we know what we're doing there. We're going to go back with her. Still hooked on. And cut it. I'm just sliding the wire through like I did on the other side. Sliding it in there. Sliding it in there. So all you do is just slide it in. That's the whole, the whole thing. Throw that in the garbage. This is what we got. Gotta do my beats here on end like I got on the other end there. And as I do, Look at that, I'm even going to be able to hide the crank beads on these. It's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to be able to hide the crank beads on these. Anyways. So. Got to put some crank beads on here. Get a crank beads put on here. So I'm going to have to make a hoop first. That's all right. I'll make a hoop here. Put a wire through. We've got a hoop made here. Put a wire through. Get your hook made.
So I got made. Did you just want to do something? Nope. This is just yeah. too much. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Crimped up real good, all made. Make this one hide away too. So I'm just gonna leave it like that because it's clamped and I don't wanna be messing with it anymore. There's that part. Alright, so we're going to put the charm on now. Got the ring on my pliers right here. Got to open it up. Hook the charm up on there. Put it around on where you're going to put it. Oh. Maybe sometimes it's easier to put the ring on. The necklace first. And then put your charm on. Charm on there. Now you gotta take your pliers. Maybe I gotta open just a little too much. Close it up a little. Just enough to get on there. Oh, gosh darn. Right, there we go. There we go. Got our charm. Yeah. All right. Got our necklace all made here. All right, y'all are in for a treat today. Yeah, you're in a treat for today. We're gonna make some earrings. So we gotta get our thing here and stick the round part in there. That's what's good about having these round ones. And you can open it up just a little bit. Just need a little to hook this on. Okay. Hook it up on there. Crimp it back together, like so. So I'm gonna make some earrings here with these to match the necklace I just made. So I gotta cut this, pull some off here. All right, because I'm gonna do one, one, yep, it's gonna look good. So we get a thing here, our earring part. this because I don't want to make them too big and heavy but I want them to have like the same beads so they match I think like that will work pretty good and you just take your end that's sticking out here and I bent it over It's wanting to come off on me. Yeah. I don't know, I kind of I like that idea a little better, actually. Put the square one for if we put this one first, not square, but round, square sides, and then put this one, and then do this one. This one. And then put the ball on the end. Yeah, I think that's going to look a little better. Oh, what I want right there for an earring. Just gonna cut the end. You don't want to cut too much off. You want to leave a little on there so it stays on, hooked on the bottom. That one's gonna hold pretty good. So pretty. All right, now this one, we got our pattern going here. How we figured it out. Put the beads on. Put 
we're gonna make it exactly the same as the other one. We're just gonna have that one in there to go with it. Maybe if I hold this with this, yeah, I think that's gonna work out better for me. Maybe not. I'm just gonna bend the eye up. I don't wanna do that. We got it all made here. Cut off the little excess here. I'll leave a little on the bottom to hold. All right. Got earrings made. Now we're gonna make us a bracelet. So I use these beads, this pattern. So I'll put the string back through. Tie this one because I won't need it for right now. Might make something different with it. I don't know. And they want to hold. Any here's one. I ain't doing all that right now. Okay, so we're gonna put a dis different kind of clasp on this one. I'm going to put one of these. So, get our crimp beads on here. for a bracelet so